this video, we're going to take some time to talk about YouTube channels. In particular, we're going to take, make an effort to identify the main components of a YouTube channel, and we're going to spend some time determining the value of subscribing to and sourcing from reliable YouTube channels, including learning a little bit about how these channels license their works. Let's take a look at this in action. So when you're using YouTube, you might choose to look or research a channel before you go ahead and use it in your course or use videos from this source in your course. In this example, the video channel is from Microsoft 365. And you can tell that this channel has been verified by the little black check mark next to the name. A verified account is one that is authentically representing that organization and its interests, which has been fact-checked by YouTube. When verifying a channel or looking at a channel, you might look, take a look at the number of subscribers to be able to determine if this channel is of value. Certainly, an organization as large as this, I would expect to see quite a great deal of subscribers to this channel. A channel might also have videos, and playlists set up for you to peruse at your leisure. You can look through individual videos, but sometimes it's more expeditious to look through playlists so that you can find curated content on specific areas. In this case, I can find curated content on Office 365, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Excel, and more. These playlists might be an all-in-one resource to be able to share with students in order so that they can be more successful in their courses. However, quite often they act as a resource, a curated resource, where I can find individual videos to share with my students. Some of the other features available in a YouTube channel are the ability to use the search function to search only within a channel. Rather than using the search engine the search icon at the top of the screen, you might choose to use a channel-based search if you are looking specifically for resources on a particular resource in this particular channel. For example, here I'm searching for more videos on Teams. The number of subscribers and the verification might not be as relevant though, depending on the type of channel that you're looking for. In this case, this is the EdTech Ontario, or ETC, Virtual Lunch and Learn Series channel. And in this channel, I see far fewer subscribers, but these videos are particularly relevant to our area as post-secondary educators. In this case, the videos posted here will have resources information and information that are readily applicable to me and my context. And so in this case, I might want to subscribe to this particular channel in order to be able to access these videos on a more regular basis. Currently, I am subscribed to this channel, and you can see that in the top right-hand corner, there's the logo for teaching and learning. You may see a blue sign-in button, or you may see your personal Google account know that you can create a Google account using your Conestoga email and a unique but memorable password. If I have a personal account, I can easily switch account in order to add more accounts that are relevant for my professional use. More on how an account can benefit you in just a little bit. Once you have an account, you can easily hit the red subscribe button and turn on notifications for anything posted new to this channel. This would allow you to see in your subscriptions area to the, to the left, uh, any new videos that were posted to the, the channels that you subscribe to. You would also see a little red notification indicating when new videos became available. Subscribing might also come in really handy when you're searching for professional video channels related to your industry in this case, I found a channel called the Electric Academy, which is hosted by Chad Flynn, an educator in the trades in BC. In this case, I might choose to subscribe to Chad's channel because he hosts a variety of resources on math, voltage, and other topics that might be particularly relevant to my professional content area. 
I would also likely want to make sure that I can see notifications. In this case, I might also, in order to learn a little bit more about the electrical, Electric Academy, I might also go into a channel's about area where I can see a description that tells me a little bit of informative information about this particular channel and what its intention is. I can readily see that there's an email address where I can communicate the channel creator, and I can ask clarifying questions like, what copyright license have you applied to your channel? Let's take a second now and consider the two types of YouTube channel licenses. In the case of YouTube, there are two particular licenses that you can get. The first is copyright reserved, which means that all rights to all videos posted on that channel are retained by the creator of those videos. These videos are only usable for educational purposes, freely usable for educational purposes, and may never be used for commercial purposes uh, without, so, without connecting with the copyright creator. These videos should, must be cited and used for educational purposes only. Alternatively, video creators can choose to create a, to use a Creative Commons Attributions License or CC BY license which means that others are welcome to distribute, remix, adapt, and build on the videos hosted on their channel, as long as credit is given to the creators. These videos should still be cited with attribution to the original creator, as is specified by their license, but you would be welcome to redistribute, remix, or change the video, as long as you give that credit.